Kumusta? Ready ka na ba para sa lesson natin ngayong week? Welcome to our math class. Before we start, here are some reminders. I-ready ang iyong ball pen, answer sheet, at ang iyong module. Basahin at tunawain maigi ang instructions sa bawat learning task. Iwasang magusot, madumihan, mapunit, at higit sa lahat ang mawala ang iyong module. Magpagabay lamang kay lamami, daddy, ate, kuya, o kung sino mang nakatatanda sa iyo. Ikaw pa rin dapat ang sasagot sa bawat learning task. Huwag kalimutang isulat ang pangalan at section sa iyong answer sheets. Pwedeng ipos ang video para mas mabasa o maunawaan mo ang instructions. Kung may tanong, gaya nga ng sabi ng Lola Nicardo, huwag mahihiyang magtanong. Last week, pinag-aralan natin yung GCF and LCM. This week, magagamit natin yung mga natutunan natin para sa lesson natin na Solving real-life problems involving GCF and LCM of two given numbers. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Solve real-life problems involving GCF and LCM of two given numbers. Tignan natin itong unang problem na ito. There are two bells in the school. The bell A is for the grade 1 to 3, while the bell B is for the grade 4 to 6. The bell A and B are rung once every 30 minutes and the other or bell B at every 50 minutes. If they are rung together at 7 a.m., at what time they will be next rung together for their recess? Natatandaan nyo pa ba yung mga steps on how to solve word problems? Magagamit natin yun. Unang step natin is, understand. What is asked in the problem? Time that the bell will ring together. What are the given? Bell A rings every 30 minutes. Bell B rings every 50 minutes. Next step is, Plan. How will I solve the problem? We will find the LCM. Next step is to solve. Sa pagsasolve ng problem na ito, may three methods tayo na pwedeng gamitin. Una, yung listing method. Unahin natin yung 30. Isulat natin yung multiples niya. 30, then 60, 90, 120, 150, and 180. Sulat naman natin yung multiples ng 50. 50, 100, 150. Ang magkaparehong multiples niya ay 150. So, ang kanyang LCM o pinakamababang multiple ay 150. Next method na pwede natin gamitin is using factor 3. Unahin natin yung 30. Ano ba ang factors ng 30? O ang mga numbers na pwede natin i-multiply para makakuha tayo ng sagot na 30. Try natin yung 2 and 15. Since yung 2, prime number na, yung 15 na lang. Ano ba ang factors ng 15? 3 and 5. So lahat sila ay prime numbers na. Kaya lipat na tayo sa sunod na given. 50. Ano ba ang factors ng 50? 2 and 25. 25 na lang yung composite number. So, ang factors niya ay 5 times 5. So, lahat na sila ay prime numbers. Kaya, bilugan natin. Isulat natin yung mga factors ng magkakatapat. Parang ganito. Then, bilogan natin yung mga magkakaparehas. Isulat natin once yung may mga partners. Then, the rest ay kopyahin natin. Parang ganito. Since yung 2 at yung 5 ay pairs, isang beses lang natin sila isusulat. 2 times 3 times 5 times 5. Pwede nating i-multiply. 
At ang makukuha nating sagot ay 150. Pwede din tayong gumamit ng illustration. Katulad dito, gumawa ako ng number line. Yung bell A daw ay nagre-ring every 30 minutes. So, magre-ring siya 30, 60, 90, 120, at 150. Yung bell B naman ay nagre-ring every 50 minutes. So, 50, 100, at 150. So, magsasabay silang mag-ring sa 150 minutes. If ang 1 hour ay may 60 minutes, yung 150 minutes ay may katumbas na 2 hours and 30 minutes. Kung magre-ring sila ng 7 a.m. ng sabay, magsasabay ulit sila ng 9.30 a.m. na ang sagot sa ating problem. Para sa ating unang learning task, on page 18, solve the following problem using the four-step plan. Use the concept of GCF in each problem. Write your answers on the answer sheet provided. So, ang hahanapin daw natin dito ay GCF. Learning task 2 on page 18 pa rin. Solve the following problems using the four-step plan. Use the concept of LCM in each problem. LCM naman ang hahanapin sa learning task 2. Learning task 3 on page 19. Solve the following problem using the four-step plan. Use the concept of GCF or LCM in each problem. Aalamin kung ang gagamitin ay GCF or LCM. For our final learning task on page 19, solve the following problem. Write the letter of the correct answer on the answer sheet provided. Sana ay naunawaan mo kung paano mag-solve ng problem involving GCF and LCM. See you next week!